We had another handshake gate in this Pitt Georgia Tech game. Pitt's leading by 14 points with 30 seconds left. Georgia Tech has a brand new quarterback in. I think that's like his second pass ever because their first quarterback just got hurt. Goes for the fake spike to the end zone. They want P.I. They don't get it. Ref says, no, no, uncatchable ball. You weren't going to get it. He says, are you kidding me? And then he's going to turn around and chuck the headset, which is a pro move when you're mad. Then he's going to look back at the ref in utter disbelief and say, got to be fucking shitting me. He wants P.I. Now let's take a look at it. The number 25 does has his arm kind of locked up. He can't make his way back to the ball. If it was a catchable ball, I don't think he's catching that, but maybe it was P.I. I don't know. I'm not a rules guy. You guys let me know what you think in the comments, but the coach, he sure did. He says, that was fucking P.I., dude. Come on. We were about to score, kick the uh, onside kick, get it back, and then score again and take this into overtime. And I was kind of laughing, like, yeah, maybe we weren't going to do that. Glossy lips, glossy eyes, very upset. One more play to see if they can score. No, they can't, and that ends the game because Pitt's going to grab the ball and take a knee. And now let's get into our action. But you know kind of the headspace that the coach is in. So big handshake. Oh, no. And here we go. Let's break it down. We got the pit coach walking out, necklace dangling, Nike shirt on, visor over glasses with a visor. Two visors. One like for his hair and one for his face. They're both kind of for his face, though. Anyway, uh, okay, he's got his fingers fully apart. And right here, you can see the Georgia Tech coach starting to look away. And now here, he's not even making eye contact. Not, not good. Let's go break it down into the hands. They go web to web, which is, you know, for someone not looking, nah, it's not really web to web. It's kind of thumb to web. And then Georgia Tech coach is going to pull away, and Pitt coach got his pinky finger locked up. He's like, hey, look at me, God damn it. Pay me some respect. And Georgia Tech coach does like a little kid pull away. Ugh. Don't touch me. Now he, now he takes off the visor with like a double take, which cracked me up. Meanwhile, the cops, flawless. Oh, what's up, man? Good game, good game. All right, yeah, good job, buddy. Now the pit coach talks to the Georgia Tech sheriff or whoever, and he's like, hey, hey, he didn't shake my hand correctly. And he's like, uh, okay, I don't, I don't know. Cool, sorry. He's like, hey, you want to give me a handshake? Okay, now he just searches out a bunch of handshakes. You want to give me a handshake? Yeah, this is what they said. Uh, he said, I told him, hey, you've got a great team. He said, baloney. Or some other nice words and walked off. I don't know. I thought it was a good game. Collins, the Georgia Tech coach, insisted he didn't intend to get into it. I was just focused on getting our guys over to the band to celebrate. I don't even remember what I said, to be honest with you. you didn't, seems like you didn't say much. What, what are they celebrating with the band? They lost. That really threw me for a loop. But I also wanted to shout out Davis on Pitt because he just dapped up a bunch of fans, found this guy, took a selfie with him. Seems like a great kid, and I liked it, so I wanted to end on a positive note. This one was brought to you by John Boy Media. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, wherever you're watching it. Just interact, engage, help us out a bit. Come on.